Hello everyone, I'm Cosmoing. I'm here again. This is my last run of the event. Uh, we will go ahead and... Oh, hold on, I actually forgot one thing. There we go. Okay, now I'm ready. This, that, that, this on top, and that on top, and we are ready to go. Alright, so I will get started in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, welcome everybody. Welcome to Dagger's final gigantic game. I want to be the pendulum. Um, I mean, I said this game is massive. 12 stages. I mean, there's the reason it's two hours. It, uh, every stage is very big and very good and has plenty of bosses and stuff to like and I love it. And hopefully I will go through it very nicely and quickly. Although it is hot here today. So hopefully I can still game unimpaired. So that's the level select. So we just selected level one right here. And off we go to the runaway train. This is actually the one run I, well, the one stage. I don't know what game this is from. Every other um, stage in this game, I know what game they're like inspired from. This one, I don't know. I'm gonna reset here for the cycle. There's plenty of gimmicks, so like, we have these things, this boost sets up. If this guy sees us, then we die. So we have to, you know, go while he's not looking. Okay, right here. I'm gonna stand right here and jump over the saw blade, but behind like the border. So that way the dragon doesn't see us. A quick little mini boss fight here. Platforming usually goes by pretty fast in this game. A couple attacks here that can uh, trip us up, so we gotta be careful. Yeah, just about done. Perfect. Okay, so here's the first hard save. The freaking pirate ship. So this avoidance has a tendency to just completely screw me over right at the end. So hopefully that doesn't happen today. I'm gonna jump over these pretty carefully. Do this. Hello, hello everyone. Okay, th this part can screw me over. I need to stay on the right. Nice. Okay. And we're through. Uh, funny Bowser Jr. gimmick right here. We're gonna defeat the helicopter. You can also jump with these. This is the only time you use this. You can do that. <gasps> the first boss. Who could it be? I wonder who it... Well, of course it's Bowser. Unless... Nope. If there's one thing we all know about... Dagger. Dagger loves idols. So it's Love Live. And uh, we, we throw alpaca, sheep, I'm not quite sure what these creatures are, but uh, we throw these. We do two hits, and then there's an intermission, we do it again, and then we beat the boss. This part is random and can screw me over, thankfully it didn't. Alright, well, let's, let's try to stand in the right position so Maki can do the Maki shuffle. I didn't quite get it. Dodge this first. She is still shuffling. Now it's time for sheep. I'm gonna try to bounce this properly. And then one more time. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're gonna stand right here and dodge like most of this intermission with very well relative ease. So we're gonna jump here, we jump again. I'm gonna stand right about in the middle. And do the dodge here. Perfect. Now it's time for the final phase. She's gonna bounce around, I'm gonna be threatening and all that, and we 
will hopefully not get hurt. Oh, and I messed up my arrow keys. Okay, we got one hidden. That's good. It's not the ideal two, but it's a start. Okay, beautiful. That boss, uh, <laughs> I mean, you saw it was really long, so I don't want to die on that one. Beautiful. So that's the first stage done. Eleven more to go. So one thing about this weird level selection, it's a, it's a clock as you can see. Um, and to get rid of some levels that I don't like earlier on, uh, we're gonna do a uh, counterclockwise order. So we're gonna go from 1, and then 12, 11, 10, 9, and so on. All the way back down to 2. And this is my, well... Probably my favorite stage, the Rhythm Heaven stage. We can go, we can skip straight to the boss here, so. Enjoy the jam. So normally you would go through the entire stage and learn how all these mini games work, but I mean obviously I know everything, so don't need to bother with any of that. <coughs> and uh, we actually do not want to get a perfect there because perfect takes a bit longer, so we definitely intentionally made a few mistakes in there. All right, so that's the entire stage twelve. That's done. And after stage eleven, which uh, ooh, it's everyone's favorite. That's right, it's the needle stage! Woo! Everyone loves needle! Woo! We don't actually have to do this needle, we could go straight to the boss here as well. But the boss is a very hard avoidance. Uh, so we're gonna do this needle. And, uh... No. This jump's super hard right here. Yes! So we're going to go ahead and do this needle, and then that's going to allow us to buy some HP for the avoidance. So that way we can do the avoidance very nicely. There's three different needle stages you can do here. This is like static needle. One of them has them like cherry, moving cherries. And the other one has like infinite jump needle. To, to me, this is the most consistent one. I've seen some people do red, though. Oh, yeah, come on. Ah, oh, come on. If we get stuck anywhere, it's gonna be this one. Nice. Yeah, the avoidance here is really awesome. I, I have never done it hitless, though, is the thing. 
so it's worth taking this like three minute detour. This jump can be a bit hard sometimes. Nice. Ah. Until now, well, I'm already halfway into this, so. That's two thirds. I don't think today will be the day. That's mostly because there's a very hard pattern, like, near the end of the song. I'm feeling Rukido jumps today, huh? There we go. This jump right here can be pretty tough as well. Oh no. Save. That turnaround is, for some reason, the hard part of the save for me. I seriously can't get it, I don't know why. Please? Nice, okay, that was actually pretty fast. We got a good first save. Okay, so here we're gonna go here, buy the HP up. Boom. And now we have HP. So we can just jump right into the boss. Yeah, a whole 10 HP, so this is actually, like, very good. I did not stand in the right spot there. I'm gonna restart that. I never stand in the right spot here for some reason. It's right here, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. Okay, now we can go. So this avoidance is super awesome. It looks great. I know this is, I think, Wolsk's favorite avoidance. He granted the hit list. Uh, I, I haven't done it yet. I, sh I really should one of these days. But this fear pattern, it just... It looks so threatening. Jump. Jump. Reverse. Here. A lot of this is pattern. There's a very few bits of randomness here. Like the, these are random, I think. But obviously the waves are. Whoops. Pattern. This is random. This is pattern. There really is just like a lot of pattern in here. Most of it is very easy, except for a single pattern that I <laughs> will show off later. Obviously, because I have to go through it the one I don't know. Whoa. Go down here. Nice. Again, this looks awesome. Beautiful. this whole second versus pattern. There really isn't a lot to be worried about here, but it's still... I need more than one HP, basically. I don't need a whole 10 HP, but I do need more than one. Well, good morning, everyone, by the way. I know it's... Well, for us, it's pretty late. I guess midday, but a lot of you are waking up. Up, Ghost. I don't know if I, I think Ghost is about to go to sleep. Yeah. Pretty cool rings to dodge here. I really like this attack. And here's the very, very hard pattern that I don't know how to do. This is basically what makes Hithless hard. I 
I nearly did it. Oh my god. Oh, I should took a hit there. Whatever. The hardest sphere ever made. Jump here before the line starts. And we stand over here and we're just about done. And voila. Sweet, sweet. Sendrion Prince. Uh, drug. Shit. Uh, thought it was Princess. Whatever. Alright, so we are a quarter of the way through the stages now. Moving on to stage 10, which... I'm still not sure if it's my favorite stage, but it's... it's it's a strong contender. I, I know a lot of people hate this stage. I love this stage. So I believe this is a Yume Nikki inspired stage. Um, we don't have a gun here, we have a sword, and we have to defeat every enemy in every screen to continue. I don't know why, this like close quarters combat, I just really love this. Also some traps. There we go. There's usually like one trap per screen. I forgot to mention, uh, this game has achievements. The 100% run does go for them, but uh, this isn't exactly 100% today. It's going to be any percent plus an extra showcase at the end, because this game does have an extra. Four extra bosses you can do. Uh, here's the trap for this screen. There's a sneaky little enemy right here. If you touch it, you die, obviously. And not reset here. Six. The trap here is you can't actually go up here. This guy, um, he stretches up if you go above him. There we go. And this little thingy swings around, so we gotta be careful. Alright, this girl is uh, hard to defeat. This is the fire. This should do it though. Gotta be careful, sometimes that fire doesn't despawn and it keeps going. I've had it happen to me a few times. It's it's killed uh, some unfortunate runs. Do some quick damage down here, we're gonna get this thing swinging. Okay, now we're gonna stand on the wall, this way she doesn't spot us. The girl only shoots fire when, like, she sees you. Uh, you know, I forgot about that. Squirrel? Leave me alone, squirrel. One, two, three, four. And dodge the girl. Now we can go. Now we can actually fight the girl properly. And uh, there's this nice little safe spot down here, so we're just gonna like, turn them into zombies. Hey, yeah, come over. Right. All right, there we go. And now it's time for everyone's favorite, which auto scroller. I don't really know what this is doing here, but um, same principle applies. You have to defeat all the enemies that you can defeat. So like these two girls, we can't defeat them, so we don't need to. Little careful. They do shoot out some threatening fires. We also have auto fire here, which doesn't really matter because there's a lot of iframes. There's gonna be a slime here, so we're gonna do this. Okay, 
that was pretty bad luck. Okay, and enough time to defeat the slime up here. Now the squirrel is... The squirrel hit me! I... <laughs> uh, that's happened twice recently. Unfortunate. The, the, the screen keeps scrolling and I forget that, like, you know, the squirrel's gonna run into me. Oh, we just need to do it all over again, you know, it's no problem. There's, like, water in my eye. Okay, I think I got it that time. Nope, I didn't do it. Well, that's mostly gone, actually. Alright. Wait for the squirrel to jump so we can go past it. Defeated. Okay, versus Squirrel. Let's see if we can do it. Beautiful. Okay, be careful with the fires. And we're good to go. Well, we still there's still water in my eye. What's going on? Me, me, me. Okay. Well, we just gotta, you know, gotta wait. Oh, there we go. Okay. So now there's two screens left. Uh, this one starts off pretty rough, because you gotta get this thing to swing. And you gotta dodge the eyeball as well. Eesh. That eyeball scared me a bit. Here's the trap. The giant tomato monster. You gotta stand right here, otherwise, you know, obviously it kills you. Beautiful. No, hold on. There was an eyelash in my eye. That's what was going on. Alright. Now some new enemies for the final screen. We're gonna skip the eyeball throwing thing. Here's a... The tree alien, as I like to call it. But do it pretty carefully. That branch arm can really screw us up if we're not careful. I think we gotta be careful as well. We gotta defeat the zombie before we can really jump up there safely. There we go. Now we go. Okay, once again, we're gonna wait right here. And now she's gonna shoot her fire when she turns around. Go down. One, two, three, four. We're gonna skip right over this guy. All right, there's one enemy left. And we're on our way to the boss. No, sorry, two enemies. I forgot about one. Done. Boom. And I have the final enemy. Trapdoor. Boom. Enemy defeated. Onwards to the final. Well, not the final boss. The boss of this. A uh, grown-up version of the main character from Yumaniki, I think. This boss is awesome. However, it can also be very mean. So hopefully that doesn't happen. So we can't kill this one. That's why it's blue, I guess. Beautiful. Didn't even die once. That was awesome. Well, sometimes that boss can really just like send you into a corner and just destroy you. No problem at all, though. That might have been the best I've ever done that boss. Alright, next, the Hour of the Monkey. You'll notice all the hours are called like the Zodiac um, 
animal for it, I think, for each, like, clock hour. Now moving on to Hour of the Monkey, and, uh, well, to no one's surprise, this is Donkey Kong Country. This game loves using, like, zoomed-in cameras for stages, uh, and I also love it. And here's Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong looks a little different today. Giant enemy hedgehog. Monkey business is just so true. I mean, all these DK barrels, they just explode when you touch them, so... Obviously, don't do that. And the honey is, of course, it's sticky, so you gotta keep jumping in it. That's kind of the main, the main gimmicks here. Here, we gotta wait. Now they go fast. So far, beautiful. I probably should have reset for the cycle there, but whatever. Good morning, Steven. The anime barrel. <sighs> Plenty of traps in here. They're your classic dagger traps. Alright, I think this is the last save before the boss. When you know how to do the platforming, it can go pretty fast in this game. Sometimes it doesn't, but, you know, a lot of times it can go pretty fast. Okay, now here we gotta time this pretty carefully. I got scared of the swords there. But we're through. Alright, boss time. So you actually have HP in this boss. I can take one hit without dying. Uh, and this makes sense, because this boss sometimes just decides, well, you should die. It also is very, very hard to hit, so that purple stinger that you see, that's the only place on the body you can actually hit. So you have to do some pretty insane, like, aiming to actually hit that, because your projectiles have gravity, too. So this is certainly very, very hard to hit. Thankfully, there's a... A setup I can do down there. You do two hits and then uh, there's like a sort of intermission. I'm amazed I managed to get away from that. The intermissions are really the scary part here, although I think the next phase is also pretty scary. Because yeah, now it starts shooting out random spikes. And the random spikes can kind of block my path. Some shot. We will literally just wait down here for the shot. Nice. So now the second phase begins. Uh, we just shoot out the shields. Do this three times and the boss is done. I probably shouldn't have raised that second shot, but whatever. Beautiful. That might have been the fastest I've ever killed this boss. The monkey stage, done. So we're nearly halfway through the main stages already. I say that, but this is actually like half an hour into the run, isn't it? <laughs> this game goes by so fast when you're having fun. Hour of the Sheep is, um... I think it might be the longest stage? I'm not sure. But basically, this is the one puzzle stage. Inspired by everybody's favorite puzzle game. Um... Portal. But now you have this ghost that can uh, move away from you. So that's what we'll be doing. Basically, you just use the ghost to solve puzzles here with the, the cube and everything. So we use this to open up the field. Otherwise, the box gets disintegrated when it goes through the field. And we can push the cube onto the box that way. The, the, the cube onto the button. Once again, here we gotta get the box across. So yeah, careful planning here and also like proper management of your shooting will lead to some really fast times for this stage. I actually think this stage is like super fun to speedrun when you got the hang of it. Could also be like, with the upshots, um, if you shoot the side, then it moves to a side. 
if you just shoot in the middle, it'll just go straight up. So you need to actually like have some pretty precise shooting. That's where the puzzles get weird, because you can shoot out some lights now. There's some, some trickery going on. It's actually faster to shoot the light with the ghost. So it's just so hard to move normally. Uh, here, right. I have to remember what I have to do every single time here. No. Right. So we start by moving the cube up on here. I never remember how to start this, and then it's fine. Move the cube up. Gotta try to push the ghost to its limit every single time. If the bar above the uh, the ghost goes uh, empty, then I just die. No more soul. Doop. Oh. <laughs> I should have waited. <laughs> Gotta shoot out the side. There we go. Now we're gonna bring this pretty close. Right here. We'll go down. Now we're just gonna move this to the other button. And we're out. Now here's a pretty funny one. It's actually like a proper puzzle, actually. I'm gonna do that up there. And move it over to smash the windows. We need the box to go up here, then we can just use the ghost over here while that just goes on over there. Mm, my shots are pretty bad today. I'm not gonna lie. There we go. Wait till it comes toward you, jump over it. Alright, this is, I, I will admit, this is one of two stages I had to Google the solution for. I could not figure this out by myself, and you'll understand why. The solution to this one is, uh, pretty wild. You do this. You shoot out the light over there, and boom, that field is gone. Alright, so now we're gonna move that over here. Now we do this, move this over, and we can go. I love this room. We you gotta block some lasers with the, uh, the box. Gotta stand on it for some faster movement. The problem is you usually slide off the box at the end, so you gotta be pretty careful with that. So the goal here is we have to get that, um, the box on that switch down there, but, um, that cannon above it will fire and break the box if we do that normally, so we have to put a light above it. And now we can do, um, da dum da dum da dum da dum Boom. And finally, the other stage I have to Google the solution for. Alright, we go on the elevator. I think this one's going pretty well, so I'm going to attempt something stupid. I keep thinking this is possible, and I never try it, so... You know, today's the day we try it. Actually, never mind. I forgot you have to set this up first. That's why I do this. Right. And you do two shots, and you squish the elevator together to press the button. This That solution is completely wild. Alright, on to the boss. I'll show this off to you. Right, so this boss is just complete luck. I'm gonna be real. Like, whether or not I beat this boss is luck. There isn't much skill involved. The ending to this boss is a complete clown fiesta. This boss moves however it wants to. It truly is a creature. Kill me. Yeah, now it starts moving really fast. That's the dangerous part. Really? The, ah, the, the foot hit me. The 
problem is when it moves, it just moves for a random period of time. <laughs> so you never know where it's gonna stop. You never know if you're gonna be stuck in a corner or not. You can usually guess, but it's still pretty random. Uh, the middle is the worst spot. Stop moving around for a second. You're scaring me. Okay, so now is the hard part. Basically, okay, yeah, there we go. So in the second half, after 10 HP, all the attacks are super buffed. To the point where they become luck, basically. Except this one. This, this one's always super easy. But the other one is just like luck, whether or not you die or not. But the last 3 HP, you have to do damage with the ghost. Your regular gun does nothing anymore. Uh oh. Don't kill me. Yeah. Well, that was a short walk. Eh. Okay. Beautiful, okay. That's not that bad, honestly. One bad death, but um, I can't complain too much about that. Got a pretty nice ending. So now we're halfway done with the stages. Uh, the next stage, I believe, is... Yeah, this is the V6 stage. Um, so my arm will be dead after this stage because of the boss. And what I have to do to fight the boss quickly. Um, but it's fine, it's fine, don't worry about it. So this is just like the first level of V6, um, I think it's like shortened a bit, it's pretty much just a direct port. With proper V6 physics as well. That last one is a trap, can't stand on it. Well, this is the hard one. This drop right here is uh, pretty tough. Because of that landing at the end. Fast track here. This one's a bit weird. You gotta, like, ride them up, basically, to get some momentum off of them. And the final save right here. Nice. That's frame perfect. Alright, now it's time for the boss. But this boss is going to destroy my hands. It's, uh... I don't know how to explain this boss. You just... It, it is how it is. So basically how it works is, you live for a long time, then this comes... Um, and you... You get it, and then you can shoot the boss. Ah, damn. Okay. That was enough. I, I, I misfired on the jump key there. That's fine, this is like the right time to die. So the reason- I'm gonna take a death right before I um, get the power up every single time. So this like already queues up the next one to start spawning. So if I do this right, the next one appears right here. Yeah. Uh. Normally it wouldn't appear right there. I guess uh, this is a mashing oh, yeah. box and I have to mash with one hand yeah, right here. So. Oh, this is a proper killer. Alright, now we can go across. Take this death. Beautiful. Try not to die because that resets the timer. Oh, that was Please? Yes. I wasn't sure that would let me have it. All goes well and speeds the boss right here. Nice. Uh, Woo! That, 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 that really hurts my <laughs> Okay. One of the quickest stages in the game done. Uh, now the next stage. Um, this is the most random stage in the game. Um, if, if I lose six minutes here, that's just how it is. 
It's the Undertale stage. But proper Undertale. But the problem with this stage oh, is wow. random encounters. And I think I'll try this one. Obviously, random encounters, you lose time. So you want to get as little random encounters as possible, also because you might die in a random encounter. Um, but sometimes the game just says no. There you go, second random encounter. Nothing I can do about it. This is the best one to get, though, because it's just some gates is very fast. Uh, Alright. First one done, probably the hardest one, um, because you can, I don't know why the encounter rate is just super high there. Okay, let's see what we get. Nice, nice. The gates is good luck. The gates is good luck. Alright, here's a little puzzle right here. By puzzle, I mean you just kind of do that and go high here to dodge a hidden trigger. Alright, now let's see if we can do this in one encounter. We need really good luck to do it in one encounter. This might make it, this might make it. By the gates again, I am really lucky right now. Right, can we make it? We're gonna get all the way over here. Nah. Ah, uh, the Chupacabra. Uh, the Chupacabra is really random. It's, it's me. Uh, As you can see, it's uh, bombs right once. This is the one enemy you don't want to see. Alright, come on. Nice, okay. That's done. Alright. So now the, the, the lines return from Undertale. If you don't know what these are, basically, you have to stand still through blue lines, and you have to move through orange lines. Quick rock puzzle first. To stop this blue line. Right now we need to make our way back with the name line. The gimmick originates from Undertale. The line is... Right. Now the path is open over here. Oh, the path is open over here. Nice. Okay, so now as we enter this room, the encounters get harder. So the, the, the whole batch of encounters that we could see before, they've changed. So now we can see some new people, such as Mommy right here. She's chilling out. Hi, Mommy. Oh, and from this stage, there will be three new enemies. This is probably the easiest uh, level two encounter fight we can get. All right, this next room is is taking a death here would be tremendously bad. So this is Bomberman for some reason. I don't know what it has to do with Undertale, but um, we're playing Bomberman now. We have to break all of these lights. Uh, I don't want that power up, so I'm gonna ignore it. Yeah, it's not about killing the enemies, it's about breaking the lights. The one thing we want to see, we can get bomb power up here, which gives us more bombs. We definitely want that. That's the one thing that can make this faster for us. Uh, hello. That's what I needed. There we go. So two more lights to break now. The problem is that the hard part of this is right at the end. The, the Tendi and like the weird void dog down there. So we actually don't want to let the Tendi loose right away because the Tendi is completely random and will kind of chase us around as well. So letting the Tendi out is bad for business. We're going to open up that rock over here. How have I not killed this dog yet? There we go. Do this. Oh, and that. Okay, now the path is open. So the thing is, if we hit this dog, it's actually really bad for us because it'll start like rocketing around and chasing us. Okay, beautiful. Um, then we'll put one more here. That'll open the path. Yeah. So hitting that void dog is the one thing we don't want to do, and it's right at the end. All right. Uh, probably one encounter here. Yep. Uh, no, no. Oh, this is a fake safe point right here if you touch it, you die. 
We're gonna race out here, and now it's time for level three encounters. There's only one screen with these. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, really one more. Ooh, diagonals. Uh, this is the Obviously, that's the fastest one to get, but I just suck at diagonals. So. Alright, three. I'm counting these things at the top. Five, six. Fast encounter there. Ooh, redemption. Alright. That's seven, eight. Now we can go back, and the path is open. That's how you actually do this room. That's really confusing. A lot of people just get stuck there. And now it's time for the boss. That was a pretty good stage, honestly, but the boss is super random as well, so hopefully it goes well. So yeah, Flowey is kind of like Chupacabras in that he can spawn wherever in the arena. Obviously, ideally, he always spawns close to us so we can get two damage in, but um, you know, he he doesn't listen to us. Yeah, dude, I'm like, I'm not going to go over there to do damage. He also has a lot of HP, actually, so it's kind of a pain. Yeah. And also those projectiles spin and then they have a precise hitbox, which makes dodging a bit weird sometimes, a bit weird. That was, that was rough. I'm not gonna go over there. Get that one damage. I shouldn't have risked that. That was a bad idea. Oh, uh, this, this uh, It's better to take the the pointy bit here rather than the small bit, like the inside bit, I guess. Oop, two damage coming right up. Uh, one damage here. Uh, maybe two. No, I couldn't get the last shot in. Okay, no, I'm not going over there. Then, like when you spawn in the corner like that, it's like, oh, okay, come on, dude. Get over here. Nice, barely got that in. Pretty good. Should be close to the end. But, uh, depends on where he spawns. Yep. Nice. Beautiful. That's the, the most random part of the game right there, so that's good to get that out. Alright, two-thirds of the way through the main stages. Next up is Yoshi's Island, I believe? I'm actually not sure about this one. Yoshi's Island is really nice. Short trap stage. With the easiest boss in the game that I've been dying to a lot recently. So hopefully that doesn't happen. What a jammer. Okay, come on. Also, one thing I'm going to mention, uh, this game, you can turn off the restarting music in this game. I just don't, for some reason. Alright, okay, I've got to wait for that to stop spinning. Well, when they're spinning, you bounce on them. Alright, reset here for the cycle. You can't land on that first room, it'll spring us out of the existence. I, 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 I forgot what happened there, and I had to check it. Okay. Obviously, if you touch the fuzzy, you get dizzy, so you don't want that, that to happen. Go across the top. Right, this save is pretty random. Basically, if the fuzzies get in our way, then we can't move forward. That's fine. Oof. That was close. Okay, that piranha plant is like really massive, so if you get close to it, then you just die immediately. Alright, reset here for the cycle. The chase. I'm gonna try to hold right as much as possible here. Bounce, bounce, jump. And now we get dizzy. Some coins and we're back to normal. Right. Now, nearly the second half of the stage now. This room is pretty simple. Alright, now for the castle. The, this, this part has a lot of um, very weird traps that I, I don't even understand myself. 
Oh, I actually did not want to reset there. I forgot. Actually, no, it's not fine. No, it's not fine. Right. Now we see that gives us a better sign of this. Get under the lady legs. Yeah, this saves a bit hard. Right here, yeah. The ending of this save has a given me the business a couple of times, as we say. So let's hope it doesn't do that today. You go over here, then you bathe this. There we go. Alright, this trap makes no sense. And what is this? Well, that that just happens. I don't get it. So that's right here. All right. Just like this. Skip the platform entirely. Oh, here there's a little skip. And now it's time for the boss. Again, I believe this is the easiest boss in the game. And I've died to it a couple times recently, which makes me very sad. Oh, and now for like the maybe sometimes hard part. It, it, it almost never does anything bad. Doing some mostly not scary stuff. It does have one random attack. Though, so that, that one is something to watch out for. Everything else is targeted. Or And there we go, it's just that easy. Yeah, boss has like no health at all, so... Not a problem. Alright, three stages left. I think this run's going pretty well so far, but I don't have my splits up, so... I'll figure it out later. Alright, so I, I, I really like this stage. This is also like another super zoomed in stage. It's a Mega Man X... Uh, I think it's X4, I'm not sure. It's X4 or X5 stage. A bit of water in my eye again. Okay. It starts with an auto-scroller, but, you know, it's pretty fun, so I don't mind. Gotta shoot out the, the red blockers. Oh, uh, so the gimmick of this stage is that just like in Mega Man X, uh, you can climb walls. But of course this is a fan game, so climbing walls just means everything's fine. So if you touch a wall, uh, bad things happen. So we're actually going to try to touch walls as least as possible. Uh, because uh, vines are yeah, they're a bit janky, you know? So we want to try to just avoid walls. Also these things that, you know, when you push them all the way in, they undo a little bit. Beautiful. I also like these um things that uh kind of aim at us. All right here, we just want to defeat the bat before we do anything. Oh, All right, so, so some stages they take a long time, and some stages they go by really fast when you know how to do them. This is definitely a short one. It's time for the boss. Now, the boss is also super random. Uh, and if he decides I'm dead, I am dead. So, hopefully, that doesn't happen. I would really hate for that to happen. Let's start off with this pattern section right here. 
the boss is too tall. Looking like you got a half of its health. And now it's random. They can chase us around. They can do a bunch of other stuff. This attack is a nice one. I, I don't have my jump right now. This is pretty scary. Wow, don't do that. No. Uh, yeah, not having your jump on the boss. It's always a bad time. Unfortunate. But really, that's just how this boss goes. That was a good attempt, though. That was bad. I, I should have just. I didn't see that one HP. I should have just shot him. Yeah, when he goes on the floor and does that, the four bullets all the way up. That's the worst. You don't want to see that. But when he's it from the side, it's awesome. Come on, man. Uh, it's so hard. So, uh, that's just how his boss goes. Once you get past the intro, then it's just... It can get really, really hard. You can slide down the wall next to it, thankfully. Ah, really? Ah, damn. I thought the bullets would go faster. The attack where he shoots one to the to the right, one up and one down is also really bad. Because he does that so quickly you don't have time to react to it. Every other attack he has to get in position for. Yeah, I, I got I got japed by a vine there. Blech. I'm feeling good about this one. Oops. Really? I keep forgetting how slow they are. Ah, it's so confusing. I think ideally you want it to follow you as much as possible, because following is pretty easy to dodge. Whereas bullets can uh, get pretty tricky. Oh, no, don't do that, what did I say? That's fine. This is bad. This is bad. Uh, it, it's, it shot out so much there. Uh, I guess one boss had to go badly. This one was going too well. Yeah, of course, that was like super, <laughs> super good luck there. Or really, really easy. That's just how that boss goes sometimes. Okay, two more. The next stage is a, a fan favorite for sure. I, I, I think this is one of my favorite trap stages of all time. Probably the first stage to reference, um, not a game, but a fan game. This is the Orbit stage. More specifically, the Orbit Trap stage. Plenty of very oh, memorable traps we have here. 
，考虑看一下。Bomb. 这是叫 super fun to play。呃，虽然都是坑，但是也没什么好解说的，因为我忘坑了。And、uh, also, I mean, I, I should say it. I, I won't go there ideally,、um, but、um, this stage does have penalty areas. Is a dreaded word. So if you fall down some unfortunate pits,、uh, um, you may be met with Ricky Martinez. And this is this is just Ricky Martin. Ah, here is one. Ah, dodge the the weird Cherno. Hyper. Beware. Jump scare. Doraemon. Can we get some TF in the chat, please? All-time classic. All right, here we can just jump right to the thing. To the dagger. Oh, 前面这段坑像过了，然后这边展示给我们，展示了一这个两个游戏 Assaulted 和 Orbit， 然后游戏里面出现的几样东西。This is actually one of the few random rooms. Oh. Oh my God, that was close to me. No, that's close to me. All right, be careful here. 对，这跑这么严的。Classic room. Oh no! Of course, if you fall down there, it's a penalty area. One more. Uh, and last time I ran this, I did fall into this penalty area, so let's not do that today. All right, now we're at the boss. This、这个、boss was pretty, pretty poorly last time.、Uh, cat jam. So yeah, the, the creepy Cherno got its own boss. 但如果要要求高效输出的话，要在每一轮打两下。啊，不是每轮打两，就是尽反正尽量多的输出。对，他走，他出现的这个位置要求还挺高的。如果要极限打。Now the ice come out. This is when it gets hard. That was my shot there. 这个增加反弹弹之后，这个阶段有点难。There's a lot of ice down here. That's unfortunate. 呃，发脸了一个弹幕。What is that like Hell Beast call? Boss is too heavy. Want to like guard the door? Yeah, yeah, add a little bit of Cerberus or something. That's basically this boss. Okay, let's be careful. Let me get over Zalus. Oh, this is the last stage. Three heads. Uh, one to defeat. Then there are regular fireballs and. 穿瓶的，就这边慢一点。Alright, final one now. Okay, no eyes in the way. That's good. 
Okay, good, good boss. Well, other than the one death, but pretty good boss, honestly. Oh. All right, and now the final stage uh, is a pretty long one, honestly. This is the fatal frame stage. If you're oh, shall, uh, if you live in the West, you've probably like I don't know. I, I think most people haven't heard of this game. Basically, you go around with a, a camera in a, in, a, in a spooky setting, and basically the camera is the only way to see the ghosts and to defeat them as well. So no gun here, but we do have a camera to damage the ghosts with a pretty long recharge. So that's basically most of the stages. Weird traps, weird ghosts, weird effects, and a camera. Here, hopefully I can get some good luck. Okay. Oh, are together. That's pretty nice. Okay. Of course, the, the way to activate levers is with the camera. Everything is done with the camera in this stage. Alright, so the goal of this area is to defeat the three special ghosts. So this is the first special ghost. When you shoot it, it goes into you, and now I can't stop running left. I cannot control my movement anymore, I just I, I run left. All the way to the side, once, well, once you save, the ghost comes out of you and you can properly take the picture. That's the first ghost done. Uh, with that, the path is open a bit more. So now we can go take that button up top. It's not garden anymore. And that opens up the water path. This connects like both areas of this stage. Right, I'm gonna reset here. For some nice cycles. Oh, right, I forgot the hand goes there. That's why I can't do that cycle. Oh, come on. We'll just wait out the ghost. Wait a bit here. Let me just ignore that ghost because we can just go straight ahead. Touch the button, and we can go. Alright, so the second ghost is in the next room, but you can't see it. Uh, because if I do see it and my camera is not active, um, then a trap activates and I die. So I have to I have to keep the camera on at all times right here. And I, I did that pretty poorly. Oh, I am not doing that well. I just forgot how to do that, I guess. Alright, hold on. I got this. I got this. You just stand here. Yeah, that's how you do it. Boom. Alright. Now we're gonna do the camera. This is the ghost is no longer here. You can shoot these ghosts with the camera. Right you don't need to. Here you know, the, the, the crab just shoots out water droplets, it just pushes oh, us. Turn the camera back on, now we can actually get to this ghost. So this is the ghost. And once you take a picture, uh, you lose your glasses. So now we have to get our glasses back. Oh, so now we have to get our Funny ledge jump right there. We got our glasses back. Alright. Now this path is open. 
So this is probably one of the hardest saves in the game, I'd say. Thankfully, like, there's a lot of strats to get consistent at it, but... It's always a toughie. So what I just picked up right there is Night Vision. So we can see in dark rooms now. And here's the, here's the third ghost. And so what this ghost does is now if I touch water, I'll die. So I can't touch any sort of water until I make it back to a save. And let me tell you, the nearest save is very far away. So yeah, the, this is one of the longest and hardest saves in the game. Lots of very precise stuff. Thankfully, I was like you know, pretty consistent cycles as well. Like I know I need, I can just hold right and jump here and hold right. Yeah, let's wait here a bit longer, I think. Jump across here. Now we need to make a hole for sure. Only got one. That's a shame. This jump right here is definitely the hardest part of the save. I can't touch the bottom. Nice. There we go. Obviously, we don't need the camera here anymore because the ghost is gone. And there's a save. Nice. Ooh, okay, that's one of the hardest saves done. Now we need to go use the night vision that we got earlier. And to do that, it's over to the right here. So I'm going to push my luck. I'm going to try to get past this. I actually did make the landing, but um, yeah, this is just a luck check. Nice, much better. Okay, so here the, the camera bugs out the first time we want to let that happen. Uh, otherwise the camera will bug out in the boss instead. Oh, so here's another super zoom. Alright, uh, that is not how I was supposed to do that. I have to get the ghost. Right, we can go across. What we pick up here is kind of like a. Or the camera You'll see what I mean. We actually need to get that item. Even though I said we just needed the three ghosts. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Is walking across it better? I don't remember. Maybe it is. Yeah, okay, that's actually better. I forgot about that. Whoopsie. Right, across the bottom. I don't really need this save. There's nothing that can really kill us before the boss. Alright. Yeah, so now we can actually move the camera around and take a picture of this. That's very important because the boss, well, we can't really be close oh, to the oh, boss. Oh, this is oh, having oh. a damage oh. Yeah, so this, this boss can last a little while. Ideally, you want to time your picture so that you can oh, take out the bullets with it as well. Um, am I going to make it? Yeah. Top right is obviously the worst position. I need to dodge the crab here. I'm gonna wait a bit before I shoot this one. Okay, we're gonna try it now. Uh, this uh, it's gonna stick to us for a little while. And this is why we need the night vision. Oh, that's a back on. Here's the final section here. Three more hits and the boss is done. Uh, that was... It's, it's hard to go up with the star. Oh, right, so now we can't go to the bottom anymore, so we have to stay at the top. Nice. Boom. Oh, and that's it. 
So that's the main 12 stages done. And now we unlock the final stage, obviously. What, 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 get, what kind of big adventure game would this be without a final stage, you know? You know, take this save, the hardest trap in the game is coming right up, believe it or not. It's right here. There you can see this is this is how we go up. Touch the rainbow. So that's the hardest trap in the game. It's frame perfect and you can barely see yourself. It's the same thing as the one at the very start of the game, but obviously vision but now we're gonna minecraft now we got that done we can make our way over to well first it's the extra stage actually it's not quite the final stage just yet all right we have to jump here first dun, 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 dun. Alright, so this is sort of the extra stage, it's the gallery. And um, there's four paths we need to go through here and hit four buttons. Oh, and this stage is also oh, where the extra mean, bosses are. Mean, and you'll see what I mean. This is a pretty trap heavy stage. These paintings do a lot of stuff. Yeah, so at the end of each path, there's a button and there's also a painting. And these paintings are the, um, the extra bosses. So this is the first one, Reika. I'll show up. I, I can't fight them now because I need to beat the game first, but I'll show them off later. Alright, now we take the right path. The left path splits into two, the right path is continuous mostly. So here's the second extra boss down here. Yeah, I'll refrain from voicing thoughts about them so far and let you experience them later. Actually, did say far enough to the right there. Okay, wait for the shark to go. I got the wrong timing. It's easy to do it in one go from the save. This jump right here is really hard. We can go down here, and we can keep going. There we go. It's a tough save. Oop! A little surprise right there. 3D Magikarp, 3D Magikarp. Hit that. Now we can go under and back over. And here is the third path ending with Patchouli. Ah, this is the hardest bunt to shoot. Nice. What time am I at right now? 117. That's pretty good, I think. for the final path is down here. So the Hammer Brothers nice thwomp painting. And then a quick jump. That was pretty tight. And the final the dumb drum. So those are the four extra bosses that I'll be showing off later. And now we can oh, enter the final stage. This stage is a proper banger. Uh, so this has, I mean, it's kind uh, of like every stage, one stage per screen. So this is the runaway train screen. The reset, all right, now reset, jump up right away. This stage is also a lot harder than the rest of the game. 
这个 stage 相对于前面的那个关卡难度提升不少。这里是先射击这个屁，然后再绕一圈。这边实际活挺难的，确实。啊，这个 FJ 没上去。Platforms in here are a bit weird. It's hard to figure out the edges. So I got these like gear things. I gotta be careful here because the helicopter blades actually kill me. I need to wait before I jump here. So now it's the fatal frame screen right here. No. Water stone. The gold stone. Just right there. 对，就鱼的这个地方时机非常严格，慢一点点地方就是死。There we go. Obviously now we don't have a camera anymore. This is just regular kill. 这个鬼的话，由于没有摄像机，所以只能硬钻了。Just gotta go with it. Here's the orbit screen. Obviously full of traps. Ah, two shots. Orbit screen. 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 I know where they all are, so I'm dodging them. There's the creature. Hard gay over here. That's that's his name actually. Let me make our way down oh, here. Oh, so there's another one. Then we'll go down to the bottom. Nice. Now for the Mega Man screen, uh, probably one of the harder screens in my opinion. Oh, this side, this. 呃，由于右边有这个自己狙弹幕，所以影响比较大。这个地方的话， okay, go, 好，就是得规划一下这个击打顺序。Because we wasted enough time, so we actually got the good side. 就是纯粹的实际活。Nice. 好，刚好赶上了这个平台。Getting a good cycle down here requires a lot of waiting, but we wasted enough time that it was fine. So here's the Yoshi's Island screen. We're gonna wait here and do one, two bounces. Ah, missed it. So once again, wait, now go, jump, bounce. Let's see if I can make this cycle as well. Ah, 这里是强制醉酒。It depends on the fuzzy cycle. Okay, so here. This is the ultimate fight. This is the This fight is extremely random, as you can see. There's just a ton going on until I actually defeat one of these. That was easy to dodge, too. I can lose a lot of time here. Sometimes it just happens. The fish is the best one to kill first. Sometimes it just doesn't work out that way. Uh, Once one of them is down, then the rest will go down easily. We don't really want to be in a corner, though. That's that's always a dangerous spot to be in. Ah, misread that. Misread that really badly. Okay. Now I can rest a bit easier. Oh, you just kill. Now, I should do it. Nice. Okay, there we go. So that, that's always a clown fiesta. Here's the V6 screen. Uh, classic V6 reference. Oh, this is Liu Weibin. This is classic. This one's probably a bit easier. Actually, I'm not sure if it's easier or harder. 右上角那个板的这坑。And two tight jumps to seal off. Of course, here's the portal screen, and this jump at the very start here is insanely precise. Thankfully, the full jump setup makes it a lot easier. Unironically, to hit that button is one of the hardest jumps in the game. Not even joking. 主要是注意这个灯管，这个灯管的指纹。See here, we have to get elements onto three switches. That didn't make it. Oh my god. 好，这边想用一个，呃，叫什么？小的进入吧，算是，但是失败了。这个、I can't believe I didn't make it. All right, 
and again, push it a bit further. There we go. We can push it pretty far. I'm gonna say we also don't have the ghost here to help us, which means we have to do some pretty weird stuff. Oh, push this all the way over here to block off this gate. Now I can jump under, get this cube. Now when we move this, the gate won't fall down for reasons. Now we have to get the light down first, then the cube. Move this across carefully, push the cube on, and we can move the light over here. Nice. And finally we use the cube to get up on top. I think a lot of the harder screens are really now. The screen usually goes by pretty nicely. Some parrot needle. Gotta wait for the gap again. I... Okay. I wasn't expecting to mess that up. A unique death, to say the least. There we go. Some quick barrel dodging. Here's the Yume Nikki screen. Obviously, with a gun, this is much, much easier. It's actually insane how much easier this is. With long distance combat. I, I kind of really like the way you like go back through all the stages, but with the regular physics and like controls. There we go. Finally, needle returns. This save right here is pretty hard. Most of it's fine when it's got the starting jump and also the ending jump that are tough. Ah, that was too late on the turnaround. Kale Mandu. I guess he would make needle, huh? That was a good artist. Actually, that, and I can't believe that made it in. I'm not gonna lie, you saying kill Mandu scared me because I thought my stream was dead. Oh, really? I had jumped too late. Ah, oh, come on. That's like the last hard thing before the final boss. There we go. This saves a lot easier. You got this jump right here, that's the hard part. And finally, some avoidance. Well, I believe this is pattern. Nice. Alright, on to the final boss. The final boss is part of the reason this estimate is super high. Is because, well... If, if he decides to screw me over, there's, I mean, I, I get screwed over. Final boss. A flowery is looking a little big today. Oh boy. It's Omega Guy. So before we can even do anything to Omega Guy, we have to go through six phases of attacks. 
Each phase lasts about one minute. Uh, different attacks are available in each section. Let's just stay in the corner for this one. And there's an intermission, so that's the end of phase one. Let's stand right about here. So yeah, obviously this fight is very similar to Omega Flowey from Undertale. But with uh, I Wanna Be The Guy instead. So here's phase two. We got this attack, we got the grenades, and we've got something else. I think it's the Master Hands. I need to sneeze, dude. Intermission 2. What was Intermission 2 again? I don't remember. By right, the boxing gloves. We're gonna make our way inside. Be careful because they actually have like a border. Now, phase 3. Introduces some targeted attacks. Okay. So I can, um, if I get really bad RNG, I'm dead here. There's nothing I can do about it. So hopefully that doesn't happen. So yeah, if you get like a lot of them just going up and down with each other, then you can just kind of get walled. It's possible. I've had it happen to me before. So after three phases, you get a save. On easy, you get um, a save every two phases instead. I guess I'll stay in the corner. I don't, I don't feel comfortable in the corner. The corner is a bit scary because there's some attacks that start from the corner. Alright, so that's the end of phase four. Phase four and phase five intermissions are really hard. So let's see if I can not die. Cadjam is true. That was close at the end. Okay, I'm gonna go out here. Do it again, sure. Okay, end of phase 5. This is probably the hardest intermission, if you ask me. There's a lot of bullets in this one, so let's see how it goes. Hopefully, oh, jump helps a bit. Nice. Alright, 6 phase. Uh, Kirby, Kirby, don't kill me, Kirby, please. Kirby is just terrible. If Kirby says you're dead, you're dead. So you never want to see him. Okay, phase six intermission. That's nice. No death so far. Um, and this intermission, in theory, is just like super easy. Because you can do this. All right, and now got this final intermission right here before we can actually start damaging the boss. All right, so it starts one, two, three, four, five. Now we go in, and now it's boss time. Now all the attacks at once. Oh, no, and we, we got to do a lot of damage. Kirby. Yep, that's what I meant. <laughs> that's, remember when I said Kirby can just kill you? That's what I meant. 
呃，问题不大，好吧？这个因为有存档，但是这一阶段确实非常难，确实非常难，因为他的血量特别厚。然后卡尔比这一招挺恶心的，因为你往右的话走不动。So you want to stand like sort of on the sides, close to the hands, because if the circle starts spawning, then this is a good spot for them. Okay, and we're gonna be at roughly half HP pretty soon. So the attacks are gonna get buffed now. Wow, that was the worst RNG. Oh, this is a copy. Yeah, when you reach half HP, then all the attacks get buffed. This is a copy. This is a little bit difficult. So the second half of this boss fight is even harder. There's a lot of attacks on a hard mode that if they overlap with each other, it's 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 very rough. No Kirby. Okay. Yeah. So here's hard mode. How the laser does this. Now this has six and seven four. That was bad RNG. Oh, I'm not sure what else I could have done there. RNG, bullshit. That's just sort of how this boss goes. <laughs> Sometimes the boss says die, and then you die. Close. Circles is probably the attack I want to see the least, especially on a hard mode. It's it, it pushes you back super far. And this is the hard mode. A lot of bullets on this one on hard mode. No Kirby. Oh, okay, that's not me. I couldn't touch that. Hard mode, hard mode's Kirby, 基本上是就是它难度不同。I guess I'm going to the corner. Oh, never mind. I touched the hand. Yeah, Kirby on hard is uh unfortunate. Yeah, 就是说二阶段之后遇到 Kirby 基本就是送死啊，就是等死的。Sometimes it's also like that. You like you, I didn't even have to do anything there. You really hate to see Kirby. Whoa, 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 whoa! That was close. Okay, hard mode now. Ah, boy. Hard mode circles is a lot harder, as you can see. Okay, that's on me. I completely missed that. This gold is a little, uh, grand. Hard mode circles basically pushes you into the corner where you're very likely to die. Oh no, these are hard mode, isn't they? Yeah, I have to go to the corner now, basically. Uh, in one. Uh, 不过还好。Thankfully, got a good attack afterwards. Ah, this is very similar to the Jiang Jiao Shadai. Has Lian. Oh, Lian, has good. Whoa, that's bad. That's that's a really bad overlap right there. I actually I saw that it was gonna go down and I tried to jump over it. 对，刚刚已经尝试跳了，但是还是不，还是没躲开。Oops. Guess we'll do this. 啊，这个阶段是太正常了。啊，这个没赢好，但是能能躲。啊，这个阶段特别难，是真的很难，太特别看脸。
That's just unfortunate, yeah, because this is just how I make a guy go sometimes. Alright, fun mode. Oh no. Oh, uh, corner. Had me uh, okay, I made it back oh, to the center. Oh, oh, oh. No, Kirby. Okay. Oh, the copy is the end now. I took a shot at that. Oh, sad, sad. No, Kirby. Oh, you're the copy. Nice. Oh, cool, cool. Whew. Oh, Oh, All right, so now we have to escape. Because obviously the game's not over at the final boss. Not this big adventure. So I have 15 minutes to go back all the way through the final station and the castle. Um, I will hopefully not need 15 minutes, because if I run out of time, then I have to redo this section. A lot of these screens are a lot easier on the backtrack. Theory, wow, I just cornered myself there. Uh, this is always pattern, but it's, I think it's always like a different pattern or something. So it's hard to get used to. Usually this goes by pretty quickly, but this seems to be proving some trouble. I will take the save, thank you very much. Kinda have to run out of there, but... I have to do this jump now. Surprisingly enough, this screen is more annoying on the back end. Because of this thing. If we drop down here, then we die. Because it'll just swing in our face. Okay. The screen is about the same on the backtrack oh, as the usual way. We can make a lot more holes now, though. Because we need a bigger gap for the, the slow fall. Oh, that was tight. We're gonna align ourselves here to just skip those. There we go. Yep, funnily enough, there's a backtrack puzzle. Now, let's see if we can skip it though. If I do this right, then I can ignore most of the puzzle. Oh, that's a big puzzle anyways. I missed a jump. Yeah, okay. I always give that one try, but it's a hard jump. Let's take the cube for the easy route. There we go, just push that down there and now we can jump up. Easy. Uh, this screen basically doesn't exist anymore, we just do these jumps. That's it. And now for the real problem. This is harder on the backtrack. It's three chupacabras. <laughs> this has ruined many runs. This is the true final boss, honestly. Until we kill one of them, it's basically hell.
want the green one. I want the green one. Okay, I got the green one. And the red one. Okay, now, now I should be fine. I played very safe. Nice. Okay, that was actually really fast. I think it was faster than the original way. Alright. Here we just jump down, very easy. Maybe we need to you know, get rid of the bat, but no problem. I actually messed that up, wow. Surprising. I guess we need to do this. Alright, now we can go. Need to shoot this one a bit. Actually make this jump. Um, so funnily enough, this run's going pretty well, so I'm not gonna hit it. But uh, if you touch this gear, it leads to a penalty room in the backtrack, and the timer keeps going, of course. Uh, I'll show off the penalty oh, room. While I show off extra. So this is the last part, part, we have to do this cycle. That'll work? Yep, yeah, nice. Okay. So that was just oh, okay. a clean walk to the exit. Alright, so time's coming up in like 30 seconds. I think this might be a PB in theory. I had a feeling the run was going pretty well, but I wasn't expecting a PB. Oh, what's he trying to By like 30 seconds or something. Alright, time's coming up. As soon as we touch this, and. Time. Oh, what was that? What that was? I was. I was. I was. I Very good run. 146, 30... I think that was a 33. I say time, but there's a showcase afterwards, so it doesn't matter. I'll have to retime that later, but, um... I was really good. Okay. We're gonna skip the credits. Uh, let me just copy over my data. And then we'll start the extra showcase. I don't know how much time I have. I think we're slightly behind schedule. Oh, we might be fully behind schedule. It might be t <laughs> it might be good to just <laughs> skip over to the next run. I don't know what you want to do, Ghost. Right, well, until someone tells me to get off, then I'll keep going. All right. All right, okay. So I'll make my way over to the extra now. And as I said earlier, the extra is uh, in that gallery area I showed off earlier. So here's the gallery. Uh, what order should I do these in? Um, I think we'll start with the dumb drum. The dumb drum is my least favorite extra boss. Because it's very, very pattern heavy. Um, and the section at the end is not pattern heavy, so it's very hard and random. So here's the first extra boss. You will recognize this boss from Orbit. Obviously, it's completely different here, featuring pendulum uh, stuff instead. And that's most. What most of these extra bosses are basically 
and buffed boss bosses from other dagger games. Gotta be careful here. So the Temi there is random. Uh, the sheep is normal, and this this thing obviously it just chases us after a while. All right, so now two drops. All right, so these are the swords. The swords can be really bad sometimes. Hopefully they're fine. Okay, we'll wait till that's over here. Shoot it. Because if it's right over me, then I will just get crushed by the pebbles. Two, three. Here is the running churno. Oops. She never stops, though, even when she's dead. Ah, missed the jump. Yeah, that, that's unfortunate, the way that happens. Maybe I should be on the right, honestly. I'm realizing this now. It would be easier to do that on the right. Gotta get the sheep out of the way. This boss is... How do you say? It's very bad. It's very bad. Swords again. So I, I will be dying a lot during extra. Like these bosses are not consistent at all. A lot of them are like super luck based. Two, three. Over on the right this time. Alright, so now we want to wait here. Do it like that. We, if we shoot this dog, we die, by the way. It's a bomb. Alright, and now for the final part. If I die here, I'll just move on to another boss. So this is the section that's really hard. You get brought over here to... I think she's from Permanence too? I don't, I don't remember which one she's from. Uh, brand new attack right here. Oh, this is a dumb drum. drum. Don't you worry, your pretty little face. The dumb drum is coming. Damn it. Okay. Well, basically, that's what you do, babe. You have to shoot it five times there, and then it's dead. That's the end of the boss. I I won't show it off further than that because that's basically the end of it. But uh, that section is super hard. Oh, the boss is exactly the same. They're just a showcase. I'm not meant to beat these bosses. But over here is a Reka. A very special audio experience, if I were to describe it. And also a complete luck fiesta. So just gonna make our way on over. Alright, and this is Reka from um, a dagger game that I don't remember the name of. I hope you enjoy this audio. So at the start, it's not too bad. But as you progress further into the fight, it becomes more and more luck dependent to survive. I 
I really lost focus there. And now the hard part begins. So all the attacks are buffed now. Well, some of them are buffed. Eh, yeah, I messed up. I'll give it one more shot. At least we can try to see the ending. Because there's one more thing that happens after that. Those boss has like a ton of HP. Eh. So hard mode right about now. Yeah. This is the final part. Now you have these running around. And, uh, come by the middle pretty often. Yeah. So I, I, well, you, there's nothing else after that. So you you reach the end and um you beat the boss. But obviously that final part is just it's it's luck. <laughs> if if the boss decides you die there, then you die. Make our way over to the Porcupuffer next. Yeah. There we go. Porcupuffer is from Serial Experiments Kid. Pretty famous dagger game, I think. Uh, but here he's buffed. He's super long and annoying. And uh, really just a pain. At the start he's super easy, but uh, as it keeps going, it's, it's more and more frustrating. You have to do enough damage to get him to, to stun and go down and shoot him more. That's the first part done, now you're gonna go out. You gotta jump here, otherwise you get kicked off the platform. Now a few more circles. And there's starfish in the water now, so the descent becomes harder. And the jump angle is random. Uh, if I get some bad angles, I think it's going to take a long time. This is all still super easy right here. The hard part is right at the end, of course. Ah! Of course I say it's easy and I die. <laughs> dun dun. Uh... This angle is like the worst, I hate seeing that angle. A nice big girthy angle is the best. I'm just gonna try something here. Yeah. You can do that if you're feeling pretty gutsy. Nice angle, but I missed a lot of shots there, unfortunately. Ooh, those kill you, so be aware. Be aware. Okay. Three, four. Electricity again. And now the intermission. So now you get met with these new fish. If you get too close to them, they'll chase you. So you gotta be pretty careful with your movement down here. And... Reverse controls now. But only while you're touching the water. Oh, crap. crap. Yep. I got confused coming out of there. I'll give it one more attempt. 
Uh, I'd like to show off the final part at least, because the final part is insanely hard. Oh, I didn't see that bullet. I think this might be the longest boss, actually. Uh, maybe Punchuli is longer. Punchuli is also a lot more fun. Oh my god, that was close. Hey, this, this, oh, tied in. Starfish kept blocking my way out. And now reverse controls. Well, you definitely want to try to stay in the water for this one. Going out makes it pretty weird. Alright, now it can go out again. And the fish comes back with shapes. These are a bit harder to dodge. Okay, should be able to get on the next one. Going down is also a bit scary now because of the, the fish that chase you. Right. And here's where the hard part begins. So here's this happening now. Just a complete luck check because you have to jump all the time too. And also here's a lot more bullets. And I am not an avoidance master. Also, that happens, I forgot. Okay, maybe we can kill this one. There's a ton of fish here. No. Okay, that was the end, though. That's fine. That, that, basically, that's the end there. It, it electrifies the water one more time. Actually, no. Yeah, we go up here. Yeah, it's it's like not too hard to make it to the end of all of these bosses, but getting past the end and actually getting the kill is super tough. That's why this is mostly just a showcase. I've done some 100% runs of this game, and extra usually takes over an hour. Although it is worth noting that for 100%, this game has a, a lot of achievements as well. Every stage has two secret achievements. And then for 100%, you have to get all of them. Alright, Pachuli is the best extra boss. It's basically a destination style fight from uh, Prism, but super modified and also super cool now. It was just a complete jammer. That's close. So yeah. And much like Destination, every color has two attacks. Obviously this has a lot less HP than Destination though. 
It's a lot easier in general. So yellow is generally the aimed part of swords. I forgot about the hilt. Give me some better yellow. Whoa, what is this? Okay. The green is obviously some wind based stuff. Okay, that's. <laughs> I'm doing pretty poorly here. I, I would like to beat this one at least, like because this is the one I'm most consistent at. But uh, who knows if I'll have the time. Yeah, so orange one usually not too big of a problem, although it can just kind of corner you sometimes. Rowan is obviously just, you know, dodge. Here's Orange 2. Orange 2 is very scary. Big rocks! Yeah, that's, that's, that's why it's scary. Orange 2 is probably the deadliest attack, I'd say. If Orange 2 says you die, then I think there's nothing you can really do about it. Also, Orange's theme is obviously rocks. Not sure why Yellow is sword. I believe the rocks in Orange 2 are mostly random as well. Sometimes it might feel like they're targeted, and I think they might be a little bit targeted, but um... Yeah, it's fine. Uh, no. Hey, that was such a bad rock one. formation. To show off another second attack color. Right, come on, let's do better on green this time. Mm -hmm. uh, you're gonna send me to orange too again, aren't you? Here's yellow too. We got the saw blades now. Plus the swords that target you from the top. Not too hard, but sometimes it's gonna be pretty tricky to dodge. Our first blue. Well, that was close. Here's green too. Got the bullet. Oh my god. I'm getting shredded by this boss right now. Yeah, let's, 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 I, I think we probably have time for like one more good attempt, but uh, I think it'll be time to hand it over to Zemu soon.
I could show off all the twos at least, that'd be nice. We haven't seen a red two or a blue two yet. In theory, blue is primed for blue two now. Hopefully we can get there. Not that stupid. Oh my god. I am the... the, the usually I've already beaten this boss by now. This is going very badly. I might have used up all my good luck during the run. Give me more blue. That's what I want to see. That's, that's not what I said. That's not what I said. Why orange? Okay, green too. Maybe we can beat green too. Thankfully the hitboxes are very lenient. If you're actually able to show up blue two now, there's not much left. Never mind. Ah, uh, Well, I think we might be out of time. Should I keep going or should I end it here? Sleeping percent? Uh oh. <laughs> Well, you know, if Ghost is still sleeping, I'm going to keep going. Let me just set up my stuff properly. Until Ghost tells me to, to get out of here. I'm gonna get under this tornado. Well, that was a lot of really bad sword spawns. Uh, a bit scary there. Oh god, I was I was scared there. We didn't get to do too much damage. Right there. Oh, there goes yellow. Do 
might be able to beat Green 2 here. Not sure. Yeah, barely. As well, you'll see blue too right here. Handling communications with the next runner. <laughs> Well, Ghost is uh, doing something. Oh, nope, Ghost is typing. Okay. Okay, I go. Ghost is back, oh, everyone. Ghost right. is back. I'm gonna kick it over to the next run then. Unfortunately, I couldn't beat any of the bosses, but, uh,. I got a very good run of the main game, so that was good. Thank you, everyone. I will see you next year, hopefully. Nah. Like, I guess I, I think I have a little bit of time before, while Ghost is setting up the next run, but uh, I think I figure he'll come to kick me out pretty soon.